This is the best time for it since it's just both of us who are here. I hope there's no problem. No, there isn't. It's the chieftaincy matter I told you about. Um, I have discussed all the involvements with the Igwe, and uh, I think we can handle it. What is involved won't take much money? No, you mm, know, all about uh, 500,000 there. What? Did you mean half a million naira? Brother Mike, count me out. Why? Brother Mike, you mean I should bring down 500,000 naira from my capital and give to you to lavish before the villagers all in the name of taking a chieftaincy title? Brother Mike, have you forgotten that your children are still in school? I have to train my son Matthew. Your house in the city is not even completed yet. All those things cost money. You don't remember, do you? Brother Mike, I beg you in the name of God, forget that chieftaincy title, please! Chigozi, the reason why you are insulting me is because I'm under your roof. Come on, 500,000, which I know you can afford. You call 500,000 Naira common? Brother Mike. Huh. Let, let me tell you something, Chigozi. If you refuse to sponsor my chieftaincy bid, I promise you, there will never be peace in this family. before titled men. Who permitted you to do that? You must pay for this. Oh, so you've not heard that an ordinary man like you has no right to come to where titled men are. Can talk. Leave it alone. Sit. The Igbo and other titled men in this town must hear this. Look, look, I just came to be... Be quiet! How dare you talk before titled men? You know, even if I kill somebody, you don't insult me like that. So, you are here, and this good for nothing friend of yours who has no regard and respect for elders, sit here and insult us. Eh? Um, uh, please, my fellow Egyptians, I am sorry for what has happened. Hi! Uh, let me talk to my friend. You better talk, you better talk. <gasps> Do that. Mike, what are you doing here? I came to visit you. No, I'm not I'm disrespecting again. Shh. Shouldn't I visit you? Okay. Why are they insulting it's me? Okay. It's okay. Why are they insulting it's okay. me? Those elders are titled men. They are the rulers of this town. If you're not one of them, you are nobody in this town. Yes. You who stay with them all the time. Are you one of them? Are you titled? Come, come. Do you think this red cap I'm wearing is for fun? Eh? Wait. Uwakwe, you mean to tell me that you are titled Uwakwe? Of course! In fact, as you are talking to me now, you are talking to one of the honorable members of Igwe's cabinet. And for your information, both of us are no longer mates.
Ah, you gonna get you, brother. Yeah. Yes, it is. Welcome, Good day. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> 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 I'm breaking my back. How are they for me? Ah, they are fine. What about your wife and son? They are very fine. Welcome. Where is everybody? Uh, the children have gone back to school. Mama and Amara went to the farm. Here they are. Mama, we have a stranger. Thank you very much, my wife. Mama. <laughs> uh, let me help you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, How about plug Junior? Everybody is fine. Yeah. Has he finished primary school? Uh, he is already in secondary school. <laughs> oh, glory be to God. Amen. Mama, uh -huh. go in. Let me just drop this thing there. Okay, okay. thank you very much. Uh, uh, Mike. Uh, Brother Mike, I thank you very much for taking very good care of our late father's property since he died 12 years ago. I'm also very much impressed with the way you people have been living happily together. I'll be leaving for Lagos tomorrow morning, but before I go, Brother Mike, I'll give you some money for the children's school fees. Thank you, Chigazia. Um, I, I don't know how to thank you for your interest in my affairs and for the concern you have shown for members of my family. I can only say, may the good Lord bless you and guide you always. Amen. <laughs> Brother Chigazia, my husband and I will do everything that will always make you happy. Uh, thank you, my wife. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> Gozi, I don't know how to thank you, but my joy is that you people remember the words of your father before his death. Always keep to them, and it shall be well with you. Amen. Amen. Please give Uncle Paul one thousand naira from the thirty thousand naira he gave you. <laughs> hey, Kenny, okay. take this, 10,000 Naira. Oh, thank you very much, Uncle. Baby, this is yours, 5,000 Naira. Thank you, Uncle. <laughs> thank you very much, Bachigazi. May God continue to bless you. Amen. 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 <laughs> Mama, I have to leave the journey is far. Okay, go well and remain blessed. I will. What is the matter with you? Oh, I quit you, I quit. <laughs> Look, people will think that you, you are mad, though. Join me in thanking God. He has done great things for me. Mm. I'm a very happy person. I am now swimming in money. Yeah. What is that supposed to mean? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. You remember Chigozia? Yeah? Uh -huh. My younger brother. Uh -huh. The one I was struggling to train in the university. Mm. Good. Things got worse after her father died, but I kept struggling. You were laughing at me then, if you remember. 
Today, Chigoze is a very big man. He is now taking care of all my needs and sponsoring all my children in this school. May God protect and guide you. Hey! Hey! Mike! Yes? Did you listen to your voice? Yes. Huh? Uh -huh. So, you are jubilating just because Chigozio is taking care of you and your family. Should I be crying? Mike, yes. something is wrong. Am I supposed to be crying? What does that mean? <laughs> Mike, listen, listen, listen. Yes, uh -huh. Somebody you spent all you had mm. to train in the university uh -huh. is doling out money to you mm -hmm. in the name of taking care of you and your family, mm -hmm. and you are happy. Mm -hmm. Why didn't he take you to the city to join in his business? Eh? Can't you see your mates? Chibuzo, Jonathan, Ifechuku, and others. Their brothers took them to the city and they are now rich. How will you feel if they come back and see you begging your younger brother for money? Mike, the truth of the matter is that Chigozi does not want you to go to the city and compete with him. Do something before you become a servant and a beggar to your younger brother. Have you finished to work with? Your brother is rich. Mm -hmm. He is also in the city. Mm -hmm. What are you still doing in the village, Wakwe? Ah, what are ah, you still doing ah, in the village? Ah, you know I'm not like that. Ah. I am in the local government and I'm feeling happy there. That's where I work and I'm very happy there. Mm. Yes. I am not happy. <laughs> we will leave my compound before I kill you. Eh? Oh, okay. I don't, said, uh, my compound all right. I don't feel you. offended. Eh? Continue to be a servant, a beggar. Eh? You, do you seek a servant? Come and turn me against the brother that I trained. Let me see your foot in this compound again. I traveled to my eldest daughter's place. Ah, okay. Evening. Her husband sent for me. Okay. okay. Any, anyway, where are you coming from? I just came from Mike's place. Oh, mm. uh, Mike, that's where I'm going. Ah. Yeah. Uh, he's in the house. He's in the house. Yes. Uh, by the way, how's your family? Uh, we're all fine. Ah. We're all doing fine. <laughs> I better rush and go to Mike's. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Bo, 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 bo. <laughs> Mike, 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 how are you? You are looking so like me. What's wrong with you? There was nothing wrong. Where did you come back from your trip? I came back only two days ago. It was rather rough. I'm not still very satisfied with your news. What is the matter? What about your wife and children? The children have gone to school. My wife has gone to the market. Ebuna. Yes. I have a problem. What is the problem? It's my younger brother Chigose. What about him? After training Chigose in the university, Chigose has turned me into a beggar in my own house. What do you mean? Why must I have to beg him for everything before he gives it to me? What are you talking about? He knows what I need. He should not expect me to ask him before he gives it to me. Oh dear, what has your friend Wapi been telling you? Nobody has been instigating me. Look, you don't understand. So, what do you intend to do? I intend to leave the village, go down to Lagos and join Chigozier in his business. What? You must be out of your mind. You want to go to Lagos and stay with Chigozie? What about this compound? You know you are like a father to this family. 
I've been warning you about Owakwe. See what he has done now. I know him very well. He has never been a good friend. Mike, use your tongue to count your teeth. You hear me? I'm going. Hey, Kenny. Uh -huh. This is your role. Thank you very much, Uncle. And informer, Uncle. this is yours. Thank you. My wife, this is for you. Guzzi, all this for me. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm so grateful. Thank you very much. You're welcome. May God bless you. Amen. My Mama, yes. this is yours. Is this for me? Yes, ma. Thank you very much. May God continue to bless you. Eh? Amen. Amen. Hey, Amara. Gozie Beme, Mekwa Kwa Gozie Meo. Adi Anakona. Amen. Let's go to the kitchen and find him food. Is that right, Mama? I can. If I come with me. Thank you. You're welcome. Brother Mike. I think this will make you look very corporate. Chigozil, I am tired of being a beggar in this house. I don't understand you, Brother Mike. Of course you wouldn't understand. I'm tired of staying in the village. I want to join you in Lagos so we can be doing this business together. But Brother Mike, when did all this start? You've never been to Lagos before, not to talk of doing business there. Were you born in Lagos? I'm asking you, Chigozie, were you born in Lagos? Brother Mike, I don't expect this from you. You're my elder brother, you're like my father. How can both of us stay in Lagos? Who will take care of the compound? Who will take care of Mama? Am I the caretaker of this compound? Am I Mama's keeper? Is that why I trained you in the university? You got all my mates who trained people in school. They all those people have taken them into the townships and they're all doing very well. But me, I am staying here in the village. No. I will join you in Lagos so we'll be doing the business together. But Brother Mike, did you know little or nothing about the business yes. I am? The case is closed. I am joining you to Lagos. I'm sorry. But I'll be doing this business together. So, Mama, that is why I called both of you. Um, we do not allow anybody tamper with any of our parcels of land. Um, please ensure that the children lack nothing in school. I'll be coming from time to time to check on you people. Uh, Mike, I don't understand you these days. You've been talking without allowing us to understand where you are going. What exactly are you trying to say? Mama, when next Chigozie comes from Lagos, I'd like to accompany him back to Lagos. I want to stay with him permanently. But Chigozie did not discuss this with us before going back to Lagos. Michael, 
Michael. Michael! What? I've called you three good times. So you better listen. I overheard you quarreling with Chigo here over this question of going to Lagos. I heard what he told you. But I decided not to interfere. Why do you want to go to Lagos? What exactly are you going to Lagos to do? Why do you want to cause trouble in this house? Mama. Eh? Mama, there's no need for this long talk. As far as I'm concerned, Mike is going nowhere. Final. What? Better. What did you say? You are not going anywhere. All right. If I get up to go to Lagos, you just try to stop me. Just you try to stop me. And listen, both of you, I don't want this issue discussed in this house from now on. And that is final. I had a little problem with Brother Mike, but we, we later settled it. Problem? Mm -hmm. What kind of problem? Well, nothing much. It's just that I've decided to bring Brother Mike down to Lagos to join me in my business. He'll also be staying with us in the meantime. What? Darling, you can't be serious. How could you let this happen? Look, I didn't have a choice in the matter. Brother Mike was so insistent, I, I just had to let it go. Gozier. Chi Gozier. Are you annoyed with me? Excuse me. <sighs> Darling. Darling, darling, look, darling. What is it? Darling, I, I want us to sort this matter out. What is there to sort out? I don't like the idea of your bringing your brother into this house. Chimwe, what is your problem? Gozier, I'm a married woman. Bringing your brother into this house might bring problems. Besides, I need my privacy. You need your privacy? Yes. Nobody's denying you that. There's enough privacy in the many rooms we have in this house. Are you going to use all of them? Jimmy, Brother Mike and I have already come to a conclusion. Why don't we leave it at that? Sweetheart, I am not against your bringing your brother to Lagos. What I'm saying is, rent an apartment for him somewhere. Good. And now you're talking. You want me to rent an apartment for him somewhere? Yes. I like that. 
So, how much are you willing to contribute so that we can rent an apartment for him as soon as possible? I don't have any money to contribute. So. Happen to this flower. I will make sure my husband will pay you for six months. But, madam, you don't forget say you sent me to the mechanic yesterday. And uh, before I go finish come back, you don't reach out to me. If I say you go mechanic yesterday, go. Now that will speak, you don't wait my car. Huh? Eh? Sorry, madam. Go see who they get. Thank you, my wife. How do you do? How do you do, sir? Good. <laughs> you are looking. Thank you. Does it? You are taking very good care of her. I'm doing my best. best. <laughs> How is everybody at home, sir? Fine. They also I should greet you. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Uh, darling, where's my son? He's inside. Matthew. Matthew. That is home. You're welcome. How are you? I'm fine. Uncle, you're welcome. Matthew, look at him. Matthew, my son. Uncle, you're welcome. He's going to a very big man. I hope he still goes to school. I was school. Fine, Uncle. <laughs> How was your last exam? Oh, well, it was good, of course. <laughs> Uncle, how is Grandma and Brekene? Grandma is fine. Ekene and the other, they say I should greet you. Hmm? I bought something for you. Oh, thank you. Let's all go inside. Solomon! So, how was your last day? It was fine, sir. Yeah. Open the boot, bring out the boot back and everything is inside. I don't think that it's inside. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Electronics, rice, beverages, clothing items, anything depends on what's on the line. I want to meet some of your customers. 
I want to see the documents with which you import, export, oh, brother okay. Mike. Don't be too fast. Don't worry, very soon you'll get to know more. You're part of the company now, so let me show you your whole office. <sighs> so, brother Mike, here we are. Your new office. Chigusi, I'm really proud of you. Thank you. I'm happy to have a brother that is very successful. At least now people will know that I have somebody. And I'm happy Pascal is doing very well in Germany. Mm. You see, Chigusi, for me to perform very well here, I'd like to know all there is to know about this company. I don't like making mistakes. Don't worry, Brother Mike. You'll know everything within a month. I promise you. So enjoy your new office. All right. Thank you very much. contain everything about this company. This one contains the names of the persons and companies we supply goods to. This one contains all the documents we use to import our goods. And more importantly, this one contains the certificates of occupancy to the lands I bought in the name of the company. This is the key to the Volvo. It's your official car from today. Uh, I thank you very much. Um, may the good Lord bless you abundantly. Amen. You can go through the files in your office while I go to the wharf. Yes, please come in. Yes, what can we do for you? Your company supplied us with some goods about a month ago. And I have come to pay according to agreement, but I didn't see the end. So the secretary directed me to this office. It's all right, she did the right thing. Um, let me see the check. How much is it? 280000 The MD of the company is my younger brother, and uh, we are partners. So, um, if he's not in, all the inquiries are directed here. Mm -hmm. Can I see the price? Let me see if I can make some more requests. Uh, I'm not so sure, but wait, I think I have a spare copy. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> We updated it two days ago. Thank you. Uh, welcome. Uh, Mike, what 
What? Are you mad? Who asked you to sit down before titled men? Who permitted you to do that? You must pay for this. Oh, so you've not heard that an ordinary man like you has no right to come to where titled men are. Can talk. Let it alone. Sit. The Igbo and other titled men in this town must hear this. Look, look. I just came to visit. Be quiet! How dare you talk before titled men? Because even if I kill somebody, you don't insult me like that. Oh. So, Wakwe, you are here. And this good for nothing friend of yours who has no regard and respect for elders, sit here and insult us, eh? Um, uh, uh, please, my fellow Ichiens, I am sorry for what has happened. Hi! Uh, let me talk to my friend. You better talk, you better talk to him. <gasps> Do that. What are you doing here? I came to visit you. No, no, I'll visit you again. Shouldn't I visit you? Okay. Why are they insulting it's okay. me? It's okay, Why are they insulting it's okay. me? It's okay. Those elders are titled men. They are the rulers of this town. And if you're not one of them, you are nobody in this town. You who stay with them, are you a titled man? Are you? Mike, do you think this red cap I'm wearing is for fun? Eh? What way? You mean to tell me that you, Uwakwe, are a titled man? Of course, tell yes! Tell me another. Look, <laughs> in fact, as you are talking to me now, you are talking to one of the honorable members of the Igwe's in cabinet. And for your information, we are no longer mates. I command respect more than you right now because of this red cap in this town. They insulted you because we don't have any red cap. But if you don't want to be insulted any longer, you have to do something. All right. What do I do? Uh -huh. Now you're talking. Um, I'll take you to the Igwe, and he will know what to do. Uh, but until then, you have to live here. It's all right. Live, 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 live. Thank you for granting us this uh, audience. In spite of your tired schedule at the palace, um, as we discussed this morning, I have come with Mike, and uh, here is Mike. Uh, Igwe, thank you. My son, you know your late father wasn't a titled man when he was alive. But uh, I will grant you your request because of Nze Uwakwe. Which title will you take? Uh, thank you, Igwe. Um, it's a new title. Ichie Akumwande first of our words. I have heard you, but it will cost you a lot of things. Uh, Your Highness, I am prepared. Are you sure? I am sure, Your Highness. <laughs> then in the first place, it will cost you one good and five thousand naira the title man in this town. Then, one, one cow to each village in this town. He will do He got in the room with me. Mike, you have heard what the Igwe said. Hmm? Uh, to achieve your desire, it will cost you about 
500,000 Naira. Eh? And once you do that, your wish would have been achieved. That's all. Igwe, I believe I can fulfill all the conditions. take you to Lagos to stay with Chigo's yes wife. Both of you are women and you are bound to have misunderstandings. You see? Um, why don't you exercise a little patience? I'll soon complete my building in Lagos so I can bring you over. Maybe when I come for the chieftain's title. Hmm? Uh, Mama? Yes, Mike. Uh, please don't forget to tell the Umu and the market women what I told you. I will not tell anybody anything. Until you get back to Lagos, discuss with Chigozi. If you are boost, both of you will come home and we discuss. Yes, Mike. Mama is right. We don't want to make any mistakes. We have to be sure it works before we tell anybody. I have heard both of you, I have discussed with the Igwe, and I know that nothing will go wrong. But since you don't feel like telling the homeowners and the market women as I have instructed, so be it. When I come over for the chieftain's title, I will tell them myself. You better do. Better. Matthew, have you forgotten that tomorrow is school and you have a test? Will you clear out your room now? But mommy, I said go to your room and read your book. Chima, take it easy. If you keep schooling this child this way, he'll grow up to be afraid of you. She just wants Matthew to grow up to be a good boy. Yes, we all want our kids to grow up to be good boys, but we have to take it easy. Yeah. I'm sorry, your Papa again. Thank you very much. Um. I'm going to bed. If you people like, you can sit here and talk till tomorrow morning. Is anybody preventing you from going to bed? Yes, you. <laughs> and my chigas here, he'll never change. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, good, good night, night, sir. Good night. I'll join you. Okay. Uh -huh. There was something I mentioned to you in the afternoon. I said I'd like us to discuss. This is the best time for it since it's just both of us who are here. I hope there's no problem. No, there isn't. It's the chieftaincy matter I told you about. Um, I have discussed all the involvements with the Igwe and uh, I think we can handle it. What is involved won't take much money? No, mm, you know, all about... Uh, 500,000 there. What? Did you mean half a million naira? Brother Mike, count me out. Why? Brother Mike, you mean I should bring down 500,000 naira from my capital and give to you to lavish before the villagers all in the name of taking a chief tense title? Brother Mike, have you forgotten that your children are still in school? I have to train my son Matthew. 
Your house in the city is not even completed yet. All those things cost money. You don't remember, do you? Brother Mike, I beg you in the name of God, forget that chieftain's title, please. Chigozi, the reason why you are insulting me is because I'm under your roof. Come on, 500,000, which I know you can afford. You call 500,000 Naira, come on? Brother Mike. Huh. Let, let me tell you something, Chigozi. If you refuse to sponsor my chieftain's bid, I promise you, there will never be peace in this family. And I mean it. and you dashed into the room like a mad bull. Woman, I said nothing. Lie down and sleep, I'm all right. So Chigozier has the guts to say that he won't sponsor my chieftain's title. And as if that was not enough, he just walked out on me as if I'm a fool. So we were right. After spending so much money to train Chigozier in the university, he now turns round to spite me. All right, Chigozier, I will teach you a lesson you will never forget. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. What is the matter now? What, what is all this? What is all this? Darling, what's the matter? Is anything wrong? Because everything is wrong in this house. Within the past one week, Everything has changed. And what does that mean? Chibuzi, did you have any problem with your elder brother? I don't have any problem with my elder brother. But why do you ask? Chibuzi, do you think I'm a baby? For the past one week now, I've been greeting him without him responding. When I greeted him this morning, he just snubbed me. Out. She goes here. Something is wrong, and you're going to tell me now, or else I'll pack my things and leave. I have a little problem with Brother Mike. What kind of problem? That day he came back from the village. He started telling me how all his mates have been given one chieftaincy title or the other. He said he wanted a chieftaincy title which will cost not less than 500,000 Naira. 500,000 what? I told him I was not ready to bring out such an amount of money and that we had lots of things to do with money. Since then, he's not been happy with me. I said it. <laughs> I said it. 
when I complained about his coming to Lagos to stay with us. What did you say? <laughs> anyway, he's your elder brother. You should settle. <laughs> Last one week now, things have not been normal between us. You've not been talking to me nor responding to my wife's greetings. And just because I refuse to give you 500,000 naira for your chieftain's ceremony. But brother Mike, things are pretty tight for the company. We can't afford to dispense with such an amount. But I, as your younger brother, will give you 150,000 naira. Jigozi, I think you are insulting me. Please leave my office. Didn't you hear me? I said, leave my office. Look at this food. What about the food? Papa Kenneth's food. He didn't eat it. Why? I wouldn't know. Look, Chigozi, I, I, I can't take this nonsense anymore. Why is he wasting food like this? Don't worry, I'll do something about it, huh? <coughs> Brother, good morning. Good morning, sir. Sir, why didn't you eat your food last night? I didn't feel like. Darling, this is getting out of hand. You, you just have to do something about it. What do you want me to do? I even talked to him yesterday and promised to give him 150,000 Naira. But he said I was insulting him and walked me out of his office. What? Then we must travel to the village and tell Mama and his wife about this new behavior. I think you have a point there. Yes. Don't worry. It's going to be all right, okay? I called for this meeting because this chieftaincy title of a thing is getting out of hand. I've explained everything to my elder brother Mike, but he doesn't seem to understand. I know how much I pleaded with him before he agreed to come home with me. So please, I want you to help me explain to him. Explain to brother Mike that we have lots of things to do with money. We don't have a better house. We have to train our children in school. I've not even finished building this house in the city yet. All these things require money. I even begged him to manage a hundred and fifty thousand naira just for the sake of peace. But he refused. He wouldn't even listen to me. He walked me right out of his office. Please, just help me talk to him. Mama, he has even refused to eat in my house for the past one week now. Telling me? Yes, Mama. Chigozia, 
I am not surprised. The day my husband was leaving for Lagos, he told Mama and I to see the Umuada and uh, the market women. We said no until we hear from you because you are the one bringing the money. Gozie, do whatever your mind tells you to do. Don't listen to my husband. Chigozie, Mama. Please, don't let this matter bother you. I am your mother. I decide what happens in this house. Yes. The problem with your brother is that he likes competition. Some of his mates in this village took one title or the other. So he decides to take his own. Anyway, I don't have much to say about that. Gozier, Mama. your next plan should be how to build a better house in this family. Forget about chieftaincy matter. I don't blame you people. I don't blame any of you. You are dancing on top of Chikozia's money, therefore nobody matters anymore in this house. Nobody has any respect for me again in this house, in spite of the fact that I am the head of this family. Have any of you ever asked yourself how this money is made? Have you ever asked yourself who laid the foundation for this money? She goes, yeah, go ahead and build a better house. Goes, yeah, don't listen to my husband. Michael, are you the fourth person that pays school fees for one? All right. It's okay. It's all, it's all right. Mike, you mean your brother refused to give you the money? Not even a couple. Eh? Come on, 500,000 Naira? Okay. Eh? You see... What is disturbing me now is that I told a lot of people about this chief justice title. Now how do I go back to the same people to tell them now that I'm not prepared? How? Huh? Can you see what I've been telling you about your brother? That he wants you to be his servant forever? Can you see that? Hey! Wapwe, what do I do now? What? Um... Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Don't have any fear. He has come in. The door is open. Brother Mike, uh, please sit down. I hope there's no problem. Um, I've been with you long enough, Kidozi. Two years is not two days. I don't understand you. I want us to settle. Settle? Yes. How? You said I'm part of this company. Mm -hmm. Right, good. I want us to share the assets of this company into two equal parts, money and all. So I'll take mine and you take yours. If I have a problem and I want to withdraw money from the bank, I'll go there and take the money without problems. Brother Mike, did I offend you by bringing you to Lagos to stay with me? Oh, did I offend you by sending you to the university? Did I offend you by marrying a wife for you? And so what, Brother Mike? And so what? I, I have had enough of you. Should I jump into the river because you sent me to invest and married a wife for me? Did you do what other men have never done before? What's so spectacular about what you've done for me? Anyway, you have to wait till the end of the year. By then the auditors would have finished checking the accounts and I'll know how much I have and the goods we have in stock. Okay, my chicos here. You mean to tell me you don't know the amount of money that this company has in the bank? You don't know the amount of goods we have in store? I think you can do better than that. All right. All right. Oh my God. What kind of stress is this? Hmm? 
I would like to travel to the village during our next holidays. I would like to stay with Grandma for some time. <laughs> it's all right, son. Until then. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Are you sure you can cope with village life? Mummy, even if I can't, I will learn how to do it. <laughs> OK, OK, no problem. No problem. <laughs> Papa, can I, are you traveling? Yes, I'm going to the village. How come you didn't tell me so that I can prepare something for Mama and the children? Yeah, don't worry, some other time. Okay, greet everybody for me. Thank you. Uncle? Yeah. My regards to Grandma and everybody at home. All right. Tell them I'll be coming during our next holidays to stay with them for the I will tell them. Our next I will tell them. Okay. Bye bye. Darling. Why didn't you say even a good bye to your brother? What do you want me to say? He didn't even tell me he'll be traveling to the village. Papa Kenne, when will he change? See it and now believe. Yeah. <laughs> How is brother Mike and his family? And um, Mama. <laughs> Mama is in the village. Brother Mike is just fine. He traveled this morning. Ah, your luggage. <laughs> Matthew, come on. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. Um, Trevor. John. <laughs> oh, let's go. Brother Chigozie, why is Brother Mike behaving this way? What is in a chieftain's title after all? Ask me. Anyway. I thank God I'm back, and um, I must talk to him. Oh, Pascal, please do. Please do. I just wish he would listen to you. Solomon. Solomon. Yes, sir. Check who's at the gate. Okay, sir. Like that. Huh? 
I said, how do you like that? Huh? Oh, take this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, let's get out of here. You said the operation took place. I don't know. I just came in from the village this morning to get this heart-rending news that my two brothers, Chigozie and Pascal, have been killed by armed robbers. And I only learned from uh, my wife that Pascal came in from Germany only yesterday. Madam, can you describe any of the robbers? I didn't see them. I, I was upstairs when I heard two gunshots. <laughs> so I ran downstairs with my son to know what was happening. Only to find my husband and his brother dead on the ground. By <laughs> then the robbers had left. Oh God, I'm finished. <laughs> I'm finished. Oh. Look, officers, I'm giving this to you as a challenge and a contract. Get me those killers and I'll give you 500,000 Naira cash as your reward. 500,000 Naira? Yes. But Mama, you look so dull. Is anything the matter? I had a very bad dream last night, my daughter. Bad dream? Yes. What was the dream all about? In my dream, an antelope was pursuing me. I fell on the ground. The antelope wanted to hit me with its horn. I shouted and woke up. Antelope? Yes. But Mama, if an antelope is pursuing somebody in the dream, is it a bad woman? A very bad one, my daughter. Is anything the matter? You left the village from Lagos yesterday. And here again you are. And you tell me there's nothing wrong. Nothing. Mike, what is it? Any problem? No problem, Mama. Do I look like a kid to you? What is the problem? Mama? Yes. Pascal came back from Germany. Yes, and what two happened? Two nights ago. That same night, armed robbers barged into her house. Hi! They, they, they shot Pascal and she goes young. Hi!
talk about? Don't talk to me, please. What is it? My mother has passed on. Officer, I can't understand you people at all. My two brothers were killed by armed robbers one month ago. Up till now, you have done nothing. Look, I want these people caught. I want to see these criminals. If the 500,000 I brought you is not enough, tell me. I have money. Let me make it one million. But for God's sake, cut these people. Please, Mr. Bike, calm down. We are trying our best. And I can promise you that before the end of this month, we will get them. It's all right. But please do your best. I want them arrested. Thank you. Thank you. Sympathy. We all got to die someday. Oh, yes. Actually, Phoebe and I came to you to collect the outstanding sum of 1.1 million, which you promised to pay to the company before my brother died. Oh, there is no problem. You are welcome. I had even written the check before I did news. Some goods, please come around. Hmm? Is that right? I'm delighted to do business with you. Is that right? Is that right? right. Thank you, Mike. Is that right? Yes. Okay. So, as I was saying, um, I intend to celebrate my chief test title grand style. I don't understand you. It's not up to two months we lost three people in this family. We are still mourning. And you plan to take a chieftaincy title? Don't you ever think of what people will say? Or do you have a hand in their death? Are you mad? What kind of question is that? I said, what kind of question is that? Anyway, where will you even get the money for the ceremony? I collected money from some people who are owing the company. Now I understand. Does your brother's wife know about it? Do I require her permission for that? Do I? Anyway, count me out. On the day of the ceremony, you will not see me. Good. Amara, listen to me. And listen very carefully. Even on the day of the celebration, you are not there to give me support. You will pack your things and get out of this house, and you will never come back here again. Is that clear? Is that clear? Where have you finished your 
County? Oh, yes. Um, our town contains uh, seven villages. Mm -hmm. And uh, the total number of titled men is um, 34. Uh, at 5,000 naira per person. That's um, 5,000 by 34, 5, 20, 15. That's 170,000. Oh, yes, oh, yes. yes. Plus uh, 34 goats, right? Mm. But if we budget 6,000 naira per goat, that comes to 6,000 by 34. It gives us four to 204,000. Uh, yes, uh, yes. And then we add two of them, that comes to 374,000. That's it. All right, I'll give you this money so you can make the purchases and then make the presentation to the elders. Aye. Aye. Um, we will go for the cows later. Okay, okay. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. I'm going to go. Where is your kanky? I'm going to go to the motor. <laughs> so, this is how you plan to lavish all the money Chigozil left to build up this family, eh? Hmm. I am not a party to it. God is my witness. Shut up. Wakwe, are we forgetting anything? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. Yes, all of you in Ami get them. How much do they sell them? No, I they sell them for 30,000 naira. But how many want to buy them for me? Uh, seven. Seven, what? Seven. Seven. So let me calculate. You don't look about money for me. Hey, hey, that's here in the bar. I will sell them 28,000 naira just here because you want not buy village. So, all of you the 196 naira. Yeah. All right, nigga, I bring the money for you. No. <laughs> According to our tradition. Okay. Today, we will honor him with a chieftaincy title. <laughs> our son, come and kneel down here. to kneel beside you.
in view of the various contributions you have made to this community, we have decided to bestow you with the honor of chieftaincy as Akumwane one of Amohaji. My God, where did this man get the money he's lavishing? I'm beginning to suspect him. Did you see what is happening here? This is a man that lost his two brothers and mother two months ago, and he's here taking Chief Tansi's title. Hmm. Then my sister, what do you expect me to say? Look at his wife and his late brother's wife. They won't even happy. What do you expect them to do? If you were them, would you be happy? This is disgraceful. Yesterday. Every other person was there except you. Why? Mike. Yes. I am finished. What is wrong? My only son is dead. What? When did this happen? Last night. As I was preparing for the installation ceremony, he started vomiting. I rushed him to the hospital. It became worse. And before help could come, he was dead. And in the shock of it, my wife collapsed. She is now in the hospital. I am finished. Huh? Work with. Work with. Take heart. When death strikes, there is nothing any of us can do about it. But we've all got to die someday. Your son is dead. There is nothing you can do about it. You have to bother about the living. Do whatever you can to ensure that your wife comes out of that hospital as soon as possible. Take heart. When we meet, I will tell you how the installation went. Eh? Okay.
Chimwe, there is something I want us to discuss. I hope there is no problem. There is. Who removed the company's agenda file from the office? I removed it. Why? I gave it to the company lawyer to keep. What? Are you out of your mind? How could you give a whole company's file to a lawyer to keep? Listen to me. If you want to continue as a member of this family, you have one week within which to bring back that file. Or else... Please sit down. I'll be with you in a minute. Thank you. Please, I'll call you back. Okay. Yeah. What can we do for you, sir? Uh, I want to see Chief Mike. Oh, I'm sorry. He's not around. Any problem? Yes, I need some goods from your company. And uh, here is my list. Okay. Yes. Following your list here, sir, the amount of your goods, uh, it's uh, 850,000 naira. So are you paying cash or check? I would normally buy on credit and pay in two weeks' time. Oh, okay. What's the name of your company? Fabico Investments Limited. Okay, Fabico Investments. Um, sir, yes. with what we have here, you're owing this company the sum of 1.1 million naira. I'm sorry we can't supply until you pay up your balance. But I've paid this money. I don't owe this company any cobble. What are you saying? I paid the balance to Chief Mike some months ago. Wait a minute. Fabian, oh, I'm very, very sorry. Please, I will get in touch with you tomorrow. Please, bear with us. Uh, tomorrow? Yeah. Please, I'm sorry for any inconveniences, please. It's all right. Okay. Uh, let me see you tomorrow. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. So Papa Ikena collected a sum of 1.1 million naira without depositing it into the company's account. Could it be that he used it to sponsor his chieftain's ceremony? Anyway. Yeah. You have the guts to come here and question me just because I decided to leave you in this house and in that office. Look, I'm beginning to grow wings, you know. 
Chief Mike. I simply wanted to know what you did with the 1.1 million naira from Febisco's company. You shouted at me. The other day when I told you I had given the agenda file to the lawyer, you threatened me. Why, Chief? Why are you doing all this to me? Each year, I go one day. For us to reconcile our accounts, that money had to be paid back to the company. What? You what heard you, me. What did you say? You heard me, Chief. All right. Let's see. So, madam, you said you suspect your husband's elder brother that he killed your husband? Yes, officer. Any evidence? Yes. Not quite two months after my husband and his younger brother were killed, his elder brother took a chieftaincy title in the village. After taking the chieftaincy title, I later found out that he had collected the sum of 1.1 million naira from a customer. This money, I suspect he used in sponsoring his chieftaincy title. The other day, he angrily threatened to deal with me when he discovered that I had given the agenda file to the company lawyer. Officer. This file contains foreign exchange transfers and other financial transactions made by the company. So, officer, I strongly believe that he has a hand in my husband's death. Well, madam, I have heard all that you have said. But these are not enough evidence for us to arrest your brother-in-law. What, officer? His behavior is even enough for Madam, us to arrest him. I suggest you go home and rest. Because if you are to pursue this case, you might be creating more enmity between you and your brother-in-law. I want you people to look into this matter and consider my request. Firstly, I want Papa Ekene to take an oath to confirm that he knows nothing about my husband's death. And secondly, both of us will enter into a blood covenant and agree that we shall not plan evil against each other because I no longer trust him. Third, Linden women, I want you people to share our family land so that my son will take his own. Thank you. <clears throat> my elders, I greet you all. Thank you. We have all heard what uh, our wife Chima said. Uh, it's your careful what you have to say. You have heard what our wife said. Have you any objections? Our wife is bereaved. And so quite naturally she's agreed. Um, everything she has said here is not true. Therefore, I will neither take an oath nor commit myself to a blood covenant. No. I, however, go along with her suggestion that we share the land assets left for us by our late father so that she can take what belongs to her son and I take what belongs to my children. Thereafter, we shall proceed to share the assets of the company which I owned with my late brother so that she can also take hers and I will take mine. Please, my husband, I'm sorry to interrupt. I would like Papa Ekene to take the oath. And before we share the family's or company assets, I would like him to provide the sum of 1.1 million naira he collected from Febisco's company. If he provides the money, I have no objection. Because 
the auditors have to audit the accounts before we share anything. Thank you. <clears throat> Fellow elders, you have heard from both sides. It is observed that one of the sensitive issues featuring in this case is the 1.1 million taken from the company. Now, I ask, did you take that money from the company? I did. Good. Now, you have to return that money to the company. Will you do that? I shall, in due course. Fine. And you also know that our tradition demands that since Chimwe is insisting that you have a hand in the death of her husband, it is just proper that you take the oath and prove your innocence. In that case, you get a very strong native doctor from the village and will take the oath. I don't think we need a native doctor here. Since we are all Christians, I suggest we invite the parish priest to administer the oath. Thank you. Yes. Ichiak Mwane, did you hear your wife's suggestion? So what do you say? Invite the parish priest. Thank you. If I have a hand in the death of my younger brother Chigozi, may the good Lord punish me severely. Thank you, brother. Thank you. May we all rise for some blessings. May the Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And also with you. Brethren, I have to go because I have mass to celebrate somewhere. Alright, Father. The Lord be with you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. <coughs> Who is coming for some good enough? Oh, Alright. We haven't got to look. You check one I think uh, we are through. We have administered the oath, and both of you have entered into a blood covenant. The family lands have been shared. I don't think there is any other thing. Mm. But uh, I have to add that nobody should tamper with anything that does not belong to him or her yes. without the permission of the owner. Good. If anybody does that, he will be severely punished. Thank you. Ichi Okeke, have I spoken your mind? Exactly, yes. Ichi Okapo, have I spoken your mind? Yes, but Ichi Akumane, as soon as you pay back the 1.1 million into the company's account, we share the assets. Thank you. Let's go. My husband, I thank you very much for everything. Please. Accept this for your cooler notes and snow. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. Thank you. Thank you. You check one there. Thank you. Thank you.
must see the doctor. Yeah. No. Yeah. This is getting too yeah. much. <laughs> We're right. Yeah. This is getting too much. Yeah. We must see the doctor first. Yeah. 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 Madam. Yes, doctor. Since your husband was brought a week ago, he has not been responding to treatment. I suggest you take him to a center for alternative medicine. His case might need some divine intervention. You've heard what the doctor said. Your father is dying. What do we do? Doctor. Yes, my yes. dear. Please. Is there no other way out? Young man. We have been trying our best. But it's like our best is not good enough. It's not the cause of this sickness. Again, I don't know. I'm so confused. When you want something by all means, you do blind to see the reality. Things are not always what they Because I have a confession to make. I killed your husband, my brother, because I wanted to take over all his wealth. I wanted to take a chief territory. Please forgive me. It was a mistake. Amara, make sure our son Ekene does not make the mistake I made. Please pray for me, all of you. Auntie Amara, I'm going back to Lagos. Chima! 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 Akela! 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 How can your father treat us like this? Eh? How could he be so heartless to kill his own blood brothers because of cheaters? <sighs> My gosh! Please accept our sympathy. Uh, after all, we shall all die someday. Yes. Um, however, we came for something very important. You know, Mike was a titled man at the time he was alive. So, according to custom, all the things he did during his coronation must be done before he is buried. Yes. Without doing those things, he will not be buried, just as uh, Uwakwe said. Oh, yes. And in case you don't remember those things, I will remind you. One, you should give all the titled men in this town one goat and 5,000 naira each. Two, every village in this town should get a cow 150 gallons of palm wine, 
plus other things I don't want to mention, though they are in this list. That's the way it is. What? Hmm? You mean we must do all these things before my husband is buried? Exactly. Exactly. And in case um, you have some plots of land to sell, I think I have a brother who is interested. Yes. Uh, yeah. You mean there is no way we can bury my father without doing all these things? <laughs> um, I advise you don't try that. Or else you have yourselves to blame. Uh -huh. uh, like I said earlier, in case you have some plots of land you want to sell, I have somebody who will help out. Over can see. Let's go. Please, Jim. Try and help us. We don't know what else to do. We've sold all our farmlands to Wakwe's brother. Not even a strip of land is left. We've even sold almost all our valuable properties. <laughs> Please, Jiwe. We still need at least 150,000 Naira to meet the demand of the titled men. If not, my husband will not be buried. Please, Jiwe, I'm in trouble. Auntie, please. You are our only hope. Please. Please, 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 please get up. Please. It's okay. It's okay. Santiama, I have heard all that you said. You see, when your husband was about to take this chieftaincy title, Almost everybody was against it. Yes. The next thing he did was to kill his brothers. <laughs> now look at the implications. Uwakwe. That Uwakwe whose brother bought those lands was the one that misled him. Now, Kene is dead. And the family has been rendered useless. Useless. It's okay, Auntie. It's okay. Anyway, I will give you some money. Just to show you that I don't have anything against you. After all, you're not responsible for my misfortunes. Thank you very so much. Good. May God bless you. Akana. 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 What is it? <coughs> Mama, nothing. Nothing, and you're crying. Please, my son. Talk to me. Please. Mama, look at me. <laughs> look at what Papa has led me into. All our farmlands are gone. All our valuable property is sold off. Why? Why, Mama? How am I going to plan my future? Please, my son. Take it easy, huh? Eh? God is in control. You say God is in control. 
Will God bring back all our landed properties? Papa could not save enough money before he died. Instead, we sold off everything to bury him. Leaving us with nothing. But a useless title. Nothing but a barren title. This so called chief density title. Papa is dead. Oh, chief density title. You have rendered me useless. Oh, chief density title. Please. Don't send me to an early grave. Oh. 